video illustrates how to carry out an assessment of the entrustable professional activity, EPA, dispensing medicines, developed by the Australian Pharmacy Council. We'll start with a medicine dispensing scenario and see a short practice observation followed by an entrustment discussion between an intern and their preceptor. We will end with the preceptor's assessment of the intern's performance. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. My name's Sophia. I'm the intern pharmacist. How can I help you? So I've just brought this script down from my GP. It's for my son, Jalu Jacobs. Yeah, of course. So this one is for cephalexin. Uh, this is an antibiotic. So I just have a few questions. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So um, how old is he? Uh, he's five years old. Five years yeah. old. And has he previously had this medication before? Uh, from memory, yes, he has. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, does he have any allergies? Uh, no, not, not that I'm aware of, no. And how much does he weigh? Oh, he's 18 kilos. 18 kilos, okay. And do you know why this one is being used? Uh, so a couple of days ago, he was out with some friends at the park um, and then had a little fall where he cut his knee and there's a lot of just oozing and pus coming out. Mm. So the doctor said that the cephalexin would be the most ideal. Yeah, definitely. An intern must gather enough information about the patient to be able to make decisions about the safety and appropriateness of the prescribed medicine. Hey, so I just received a script for Ceflexin. I was wondering if we could do a short practice observation. Yeah, of course. What I'll get you to do is I'll get you to step through what you're thinking as you process the script, and then we can have an entrustment discussion afterwards. So uh, the script is legal, so it is valid. Um, I've also double checked uh, that there are no antibiotic allergies. Oh. Yep. So I've checked that the dose is okay based off of um, the child's weight. But I just wanted to double check if this antibiotic is appropriate for this indication. Mm -hmm. So um, according to the therapeutic guidelines uh, for prorulent cellulitis, glucoxacillin is actually first line. Mm. But if you have a look underneath, what you can see is that keflexin is often preferred to dicloxacillin or flucloxacillin in children because the liquid formulation is better tolerated. Right. So I think that's what your GP's done here. Oh, okay, right, yeah. So are we all good to dispense that one? I think we are. Great, thank you. It's important to note, a preceptor needs to be an active observer throughout the process, encouraging an intern to consider all the possible options in front of them. So I think that that is all good to go. Can you just double check that for me? Sure, I'd like to. So what I can see is that you've done a great job, but you've missed your ancillary labels. There's more information in the APF about ancillary labels, but we need to add three to this bottle. Okay. So if you want to affix those to the label, then it's ready to go. Sounds good. And then I'll go prepare my reflection for our entrustment discussion. Sounds good. Thank you. Walking through the technical and cognitive aspects of dispensing as part of an entrustment discussion is important to an intern's professional development. It allows the intern and preceptor to evaluate the legal requirements for supplying a medicine, the intern's accuracy throughout the process, and the clinical reasoning for justifying its efficacy and safety for the patient. Entrustment discussions therefore provide preceptors with additional information to support their decision about an intern's readiness to carry out dispensing with greater autonomy. It is important that this discussion gives an intern agency and opportunity to explore their thought process and practice in a safe space. So I think today went really well, but I'd love to get your kind of opinion on what you observed today. Yeah, sure. Look, I think you did do well, um, and I'm really encouraged by your enthusiasm and how receptive you are to feedback. There's a couple of suggestions that I have for you. Mm -hmm. um, the first question I want to ask you is, how did you determine that the medicine was safe and appropriate for the child? So I determined if it was appropriate antibiotic for cellulitis mm -hmm. and also if it was safe for a child, especially the dose. Yeah, okay, excellent. Both of those things you need to do. Did you ask the carer about if the child was taking any other medicines or if they had any other medical conditions? I think I just assumed because he was a child that he wouldn't have any. Okay, well, for future reference, we need to ask the patient or the carer if the child is taking any other medicines or has any other medical conditions. The other thing I wanted to point out was, did you consider that there was enough of um, the solution to complete the course? 
No. no. Yeah, I think I just assumed because it was like in a bottle form that it would be sufficient. Okay, that's well, that's sufficient. another good thing to just check. Um, in this case, there was enough of the solution to complete the full course, but that's not always going to be the case. It's yeah. important to do that basic calculation and make sure that there's enough of that oral liquid for the child to complete the whole course. Um, and if not, we probably would have needed to dispense the other bottle. Let's move on to talking about the labelling. You did that really well, um, but you did miss those ancillary labels, which we've already brought up before. So it's important that you keep in mind of that for next time. So overall, you're doing really well. Thank I you. would say um, that you are at the EPA level three. Thank you so much. Here, the supervisor believes the intern will continue to benefit from indirect supervision and will make themselves readily available to support the intern in their dispensing process. This is consistent with EPA Supervision Level 3. So, well done. You're well on your way um, to being a competent intern pharmacist. Thank you. And this experience is just really helping me navigate what is appropriate and what I should be thinking for for future. Excellent. Well Thank done. you. Here, the supervisor makes a decision about an intern's readiness to carry out dispensing with greater autonomy. They believe the intern will continue to benefit from indirect supervision and will make themselves readily available to support the intern in their dispensing process. This is consistent with EPA Supervision Level 3. A dispensing log is provided as part of the toolkit to support the assessment of EPA dispensing. Self-reflection is an important part of learning and interns should document their reflections after short practice observations and entrustment discussions. The EPA assessment feedback form and the EPA 1 dispensing logs include sections for intern reflection. Observation, discussion and reflection allows me to have a better understanding on what I should be doing and what I need to do in order to perform this task independently. It gives me a peace of mind knowing that somebody is observing me dispense and also having a follow-up discussion allows me to have a better understanding on what I should be doing. So I make decisions about how much supervision is required for my intern pharmacist each and every day. This particular framework helps me feel more confident about the decisions that I'm making. It is good that I can draw on the entrustment discussion after medicine dispensing activities to inform my assessment of EPA.